And just getting better and better as the year progresses on. Talk about progression. Another opportunity for a wild card. Mateus Hurdy has Griffin Colapinto. Very youthful matchup here to close out the round of 32. Riding surfboards from JS Industries. Being very patient. Ready to explode into the air. Full rotation, laying back. Unable to recover. Joe Tupel with Mitchell Salazar. Exciting to have these young heats together. Cole Pinto and Hurdy going head to head. I feel like we're going to see a lot of these matchups between these two over the next decade. Competition throughout the season. Hurdy looking for that quick start. Got the blowtail reverse on the first section. Yeah, and we saw this in his opening round heat. Got the win in the seeding round, Joe. And somebody who has nothing to lose and the youngster from the southern part of Brazil in Santa Catarina, training partner of Iago Dora, former World Pro Junior Champion. This was just a wave where he started off and saw that he already had the... It's cool to see <laughs> them being parents now and them supporting their children in ways that they probably wanted to be supported as kids as well. And probably more stressful than their own heats. Oh, Back yeah. on the tour, Mateus Hurdy. Remember that name, Gilherme Hurdy. Watch Ooh. that full reverse. So stylish wearing those Quicksilver board shorts. Kind of paying off those originals from back in 1969. Hurdy loved the feel of that. Now racetrack section. That leaves him searching for quite some time. Now will redirect and ends up running out of room. I talked to Jesse Mendez, a Triple Crown champ on tour for some time there. He's been surfing with Mateus. He's like, I'm not working with him. He's a friend of mine. I'm just hanging out with him and his support crew. And he said, yeah, he's just going to go big. I don't know if you saw when he made the motion that he was thirsty and he wanted some, wanted some water. David Silva ran down 100 miles per hour to the shoreline, gave him something to drink. And that's the beautiful thing about being on the championship tour with your friends. You're able to see that a lot more. Colapinto, 5-1-7 start. This is his second scoring ride. Nice, easy pace. Hey, he was actually underwater backwards yeah. and almost pulled himself back up, but some solid moves there. Ah. Colapinto's down. The hunt to find Seth Moniz, because now he'll have priority with two minutes to go. Yeah, this could be an upset. So final minute, we'll see Mateus just up and out and take this wave. Seth has priority over the entire lineup. The country of Mexico. We're loving our time here on this right hand point oh. break. Slob reverse from Hurdy during the break. Yeah, this was beautiful right up the beginning of the wave too. The former World Pro Junior Champion. He won that event in Taiwan in 2018 over none other than Aton Osborne. So two aerialists in that final. And Herji, who has competed before at the CT level, the wild card at Duranba Beach in 2019 and very verse at the end and Cola Pinto with the answer back important heat for the rankings Joe Cola Pinto right now number five he needs to make it out of this one beautiful combination of turns right at the beginning this way plays to Griffin strengths great work of the rails using the same board as he did yesterday in his opening round heat solid arc right there and he's Bringing that inspiration for Mandy Irons into this heat right now. And this is a great battle between the two youngsters. So I'm going to go back to back. The guy's going for it, Joe. I love it. And he always understands the formula on how to go for that number one position in the world. Wrapping cutback for Cole Pinto, needing a 5.41 aggressive carve down to the bottom of the bowl. Classic layback, snap off the lip, drills it, picks up his board. Nice recovery for Cola Pinto. Just board slid the rooftop of that end section float. That was brilliant for the surfer from San Clemente, California. That's a good comparison. He does that board slide quite a bit, actually. It's kind of like his trademark. Let's start with Griffins here. Yeah, Griffins was a grower, too. Had a card back first. I love how well he's reading his waves here. Always stays really close to the pocket, right next to the white water. That was a beautiful layback from Griff. And before Mateos' wave, he was needing a 5-4-1.
with that closeout finish, did some great work, but if I were Griffin right now, you got to be on the outside because that's where her G is. Now rolling in, how's that wedge Ooh. right off the rock? Mateus sets up a nice clean car, big section. He'll float it, tail drop on the re-entry onto the open face. Having some beautiful rail work as he just waits for this inside track. Now he's running after it. Nice clean snap. Plenty of water to work with for Herdy. Drives off the top again for a big frontside float. I think he was really close to getting it. But look at this from Mateus. Larger wave, a lot more risk involved on the, in, in those first two turns. And even though the wave went flat right here, I just think that these two closeout maneuvers were so crucial for the development of this score. He goes up into the lip once, and look at this finish. Waits for it, grabs a little bit more speed, was patient enough to really read that well, especially with the backwash. So much time in between waves. Obviously the, the least crowded moment of this overlapping format with just two of them out there and choosing this wave with a minute to go. World number five needs a 7.08. Drives off the bottom, there's the vertical. One man this would help out big time is Kanoe Garashi if Mateus could keep this lead here. 44 seconds. Cola Pinto needs something big here. Throws the tail towards the beach. Will get the reverse. And I think it's great, honestly, because the outside offered up a couple great sections. Beautiful car to start things off, and I think this turn was critical to the score. Beautiful. Just down carve right there from Cole Pinto. Had a hiccup right there. Almost lost it. Went back to the white water. So there was a great combination on the outside. And the only thing that kind of bugged me a little bit about this, it wasn't his fault, but the wave just went completely flat. Judges don't like to see that, but that air, for how much air, for how much speed he had, was really difficult to pull off. Important wave right here. And Mateus might be able to just shut it down if he could pull off something big. It'll be incomplete on the reverse. So we'll count out the clock. Last score now coming in for Cola Pinto. Not enough. A 6.37 left chasing that 7.08. And our surfer in that top five position out in the round of 32. Remember Toledo out in that third position in that final five spot and the wild card continues to build his profile against the top 34, a 7.5 and a 7.0. You're watching a future world champion in the making here. Oh, yeah.